This morning, Ellen Hildebrand, the queen of beach reads, is putting down her pen for now, at least when it comes to the Nantucket-based books that have made her famous. Hildebrand has been at it for almost a quarter century, and by now her books routinely shoot to the top of bestseller lists. Don't expect that'll change when Swan Song is released on Tuesday. In advance of its release, for the first time ever on television, Hildebrand hosted CBS Saturday morning inside her home. Somebody asked me yesterday uh, how I broached the conversation with my publisher and my agents about my retirement. And I said, I didn't tell them. I just announced it. Ellen Hildebrand almost said goodbye to Nantucket three books ago until she went back to the well that has brought her maybe the most devoted following in all of publishing. Oh, you are? Okay, good. I'll see you, see you Saturday. See you later, Ellen. Bye, honey. Bye. A following she says she is determined not to disappoint. Ellen Hildebrand is out of Nantucket ideas. Yes, I'm out of good, solid, fresh ideas. Hildebrand first got the beach bug when she was little taken to Cape Cod every summer by her dad. Those times ended when Hildebrand's father, a prominent tax attorney, was killed in a plane crash at the age of 41. It was devastating. It was the worst thing that's ever happened to me and my family. And it really defined, I think, who I am. Hildebrand got a creative writing degree, but was feeling frustrated by the writing process in graduate school until someone reminded her to write what she knew. Inspired by the beaches of Nantucket, she set her first novel there. The audience slowly grew and grew. I've done every kind of event known to man. I did one at the Charleston Library in 2012. Three people showed up. You know, I did one at Books and Books in Miami, six people showed up. I have done, uh, you know, my first five books, no one would come. My 23rd try, I got to number one. <laughs> and it was so gratifying to do it that way because, yeah. I mean, I've obviously known novelists that have, you know, rocketed to number one with their first novel. And then you're constantly chasing yourself. And I've yeah. never felt like that was what I had to do. By now, Hildebrand has published 30 books the vast majority taking place on Nantucket, including this last one, Swan Song, about an ultra-rich couple and their personal assistant who moved to town and the mystery that ensues following a dramatic party at sea. Ultimately, all of my main characters are good people, and mm -hmm. I think that is one thing that connects all of my novels. And they're aspirational, which I think is resonates with a lot of the readers, right? Yes, aspirational yeah. is like the number one adjective that's yeah. used yeah the water plays the water is almost like antagonist and protagonist in your books including this newest mm -hmm. one indeed i haven't thought about it until you just said it but you're right i mean i've lived on this island for 30 years so you're surrounded by water now there are days jeff when i do not see the water because i live in the middle of the island and if you're not driving near the beach you wouldn't see the water but you always feel its presence Nantucket, originally a whaling community dating back centuries, has long been a popular vacation spot. Now, thanks in part to Hildebrand's books, a new generation is discovering the island's charms. You know, the things I love about Nantucket is there are no neon signs, there's no, there are no yeah. chain stores at all. Hildebrand, a mom of four, is divorced. Her final Nantucket novel is dedicated to her ex-husband. She says despite their separation, he's been as vital to her success. I really love Summerland. As she's been to Nantucket's. Happy birthday, Kristen. It's Ellen Hildebrand. Here at Mitchell's Book Corner. Wow, this is mysterious. I know, this is an old building. Hildebrand is signing books that'll go to fans across the country. This is really the mother load. <laughs> Is that not bananas? This is all... These are all my books. Georgia, Maine. Where else are we going? Tennessee. Reader's own personal piece of the real Nantucket. Something that up until now, Hildebrand says hasn't been captured on film. You said Nantucket is, has never been done right in, in TV or movies. I mean, first of all, I hope we do. 
it right. You did great. Thank you. But well, <laughs> it hasn't been on yet. But in terms of a longer movie or TV series, you you're looking forward to that. Very much so. Um, Nantucket has never been done correctly in TV or the movies. And there's a reason for it, which I learned. A, a, a movie production is such an enormous undertaking. At last, the first TV series based on a Hildebrand book has been shot. The Perfect Couple, starring Liev Schreiber and Nicole Kidman, is coming out this year on Netflix. Hildebrand has also completed the first in a two-book set with her daughter, set at a New England boarding school. This is the new one. This is the one the that... The non-beach read. This is the non-beach read. This is the Academy. So this is it on the computer, and then these are the handwritten pages. I will then type this into the computer, and then when it's all done, I will print it out, as I have done here. So this is the beginning, and I will go through it and make changes, and then put the changes into the computer, and then this goes on forever and ever and ever. Right now, more personal activities are on the schedule. If you look at Ellen in 10 years... What's she doing? So hopefully I have grandchildren. Please. <laughs> um, like what I want to do in the next two to three years is just spend as much time with the kids as I can. If I don't retire now, I'm going to miss the opportunity to spend these last precious years with them. Before we finished, there was one final point Hildebrand left us with. Why she's written. It's important. You know, I write beach novels, and a lot of people, I think, feel like, you know, beach novels are, and I don't want to use the word silly, but they, they're frivolous, or they're lighthearted, or they're breezy, and what I've learned, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop crying for a second so that we can get this, because this is something I really want to say. We paused for a moment, so Hildebrand could what say I've it learned. exactly the way she wanted the thing about beach reads, the, the journey that I've been on is some people think that beach reads are frivolous or they're breezy. And what I've learned is that they're an escape for people. And I have a letter from a, a woman who was in the hospital while her father was dying and she was reading my books. And I thought, if you're reaching for my book in your darkest hour, then I have fulfilled my purpose. Mm. I have fulfilled my purpose. Yeah, that's amazing. I learned through doing uh, her readership and the fans it is unbelievable. Just those books in the basement, which are just signed copies. You're seeing her on the beach the, with people. The commitment they have yeah. and just and the time they've spent with her and she spent with them. Yeah. She's been an escape for me at times. I've read some.